From time to time I'll get a request for something I wish it did. And many times the program already has that incorporated in it. One of those would be an FHA or a conventional payment chart and closing cost chart. To do that, you go into financing because you want to set up your standard fees. We're going to go to FHA and put in a sales price, 200000 Okay, the sales price doesn't matter so much. Okay, we're going to put in an interest rate, say 5, and again, that doesn't matter. We just want to have your basic um, closing costs. So now we go to the buyer's costs. One point origination, it's your appraisal, credit report. I'm going to just put $1,200 for the processing and docs instead of putting in a separate underwriting, processing, admin, and wire transfer. If you have your underwriting, processing, docs, admin, wire transfer, and you know the numbers, go ahead and put those in. But I made a lump sum of $1,200. I'm going to go 30 days of interest, 2 months of mortgage insurance impounds, 6 months taxes, 14 months insurance. And these would be my basic defaults. There's an escrow fee, title insurance, and that's based on the chart that's built in. The recording, I want 125, let's say for notary, just for the sake of making a change. Inspection, $50. Now I make it 150. Miscellaneous 200. And no no sellers assist in this. So we have our basic defaults for an FHA buyer's cost. From here I'm going to go to charts. I like to use this charts that's down here in the bottom. I'm going to go to FHA payment chart. Okay, make sure when you do your starting and ending sales price, you don't have too great a range because you want it all to fit on one page. So let's say I start at 150000 and I'm going to go to 250000 Now, if I go by $1,000 increments, I'm going to have way too many lines on the page. So I'm going to go by $5,000 increments. I want to start at an interest rate of 5%. I'm going to go up by a quarter. Actually, I'm going to go up by 1.125. It's going to be 30 years. The impound interest rate, the reason I ask for this is because for every different interest rate, we're going to have a different amount for the impounds, the 30 days of interest owed, I mean the 30 days of prepaid interest. So I'm going to go on the high side, so let's say we've got, I'm going to go 5.75 and that will make sure that some of the columns will be a tiny, like maybe one column will be t a little bit low, but the rest of them will be a little on the high side, which is what we want. We don't want to under quote. It's better to over quote. Loan to value, leave it 100%. Maximum loan, minimum down. The mortgage insurance rate is 0.55. Property tax is 1.25. Property insurance is 3.60. You can change that if you want no homeowners association and then we say okay and this is the chart that you're going to get let me adjust this a little bit here you'll be able to see it but I'll also make this as a printout that you can print and see I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and I'll slide it around so here we have right across the bottom here we have a sales price of 195 the down payment is 6850 giving us a loan of 188 150 plus the um, MIP gives us would be 191 442 
Then we have six columns here. See, I went a little high on the um, impound interest rate. I went 5.75. That was actually more than I needed to go. See, the payment at 5% is 1375, 1390, 1405, 1419. This way you can show a client that the difference between a 5% payment and a 5.5% isn't that great. It might not be worth fighting over. Go across here. We have the closing costs are 5098 the prepaid items are 3127 giving us a total cash to close of 15075 .75. Nice thing to be able to print out and give to, um, to realtors, I mean carry around with you if you're a realtor and lenders give it to your realtor so that they can um, quote these numbers. Then at the bottom there's a legend the prepaid interest was based on 5.75. I had a feeling I was a little on the high side. Mortgage insurance, 0.55, 1.25 on the property. Tax, property insurance, 3.6, and association fee is zero. So you know what you base this information on. Again, I will print this out or make a PDF file for it, and you can print it out and take a closer look. The program does many things like this, so um, anytime you have a question, don't hesitate to call. If I went too fast and I didn't make sense, don't hesitate to call about that too. My number is 909-597-4504. Any questions, don't hesitate to call. I think I said that a few times. Thank you.